Welcome back to the Haking channel. So today um, I'll be going through parallel and series circuits. I'll do a quick recap of simple circuits and some of the symbols that you will need to use um, and be able to identify in order to understand questions. Um, so yeah. So just a bit of background, okay. So a cell stores chemical energy and transfers it to electrical energy. So cells generally come in the form of battery in this topic. So normally cells, um, I'll walk you through, but cells are actually drawn with a large line and a little line like that. And batteries have two or more cells. So if you want to draw a battery, I usually just do two. Um, and you could add more if you wanted to, but for time constraints, I'd probably just recommend doing four lines, two large ones and two small ones. So the cell's chemical energy is used by pushing a current. So the current is the flow of electricity uh, around a circuit. Okay. So what is an electrical... What is an electric current? So an electric current is a flow of electrons, essentially, um, that flow through wires and components. So electrons, meaning um, they have a negative charge. All right, it's good to just write this down. Um, you can pause it whenever you want to um, and feel free to take the notes at your own pace. So other components, you know, that could include... Um, Uh, light bulbs, okay, um, resistors, and so we'll talk through it. So here is a circuit, all right, so if I just um, erase that so that you can see this better, okay, uh, oh, I can change the color, let's do it yellow. Okay, so as you can see, um, over here we've got the cell, okay, and there's a negative and a positive charge. So the direction of the current, so these little yellow circles that are moving around or dots, they're electrons, and they flow from a negative to a positive terminal of the cell. So that's one cell. So if I was to do a battery, all right, it would look like this. Okay, just a quick brief look. All right, so here is a simple circuit. Um, it has a cell, which I'll show you, a lamp and a switch. And then these are the wires. So to make the circuit, these components are connected together with wires. Um, if it's cut, generally the circuit stops working, meaning the components in the circuit um, also don't work. So um, this is just a general picture, but when you have a question, most of the time they don't actually show you a picture. It might ask you to draw a circuit, which we'll get to later using the appropriate symbol. So when the switch is closed, the light lights up. So if I was to draw this as a um, circuit, okay, we'd have the cell and then, oops, make that a bit longer. Okay, we'd have the closed switch we have the light um okay so um this is because we want a continuous flow so if this was the switch it's closed so as you can tell all the circuits um are connecting so the electrons can flow from negative to positive however if the switch was open so I'll just quickly do that for you. Um, oh. Okay, if it was open, there's a bit of a gap here. So it's actually not connected. So this is an open switch. And this one here is a closed one. Okay, so like I said before, if there are any breaks, the current can't flow. So the electrons can't travel through this, the current. So here I'm going to talk about um, symbols. So I, so the light, we can put an X through it. Okay, so this would be an open switch. Okay, and little things that you can practice, you know, would be like 
doing a plus and minus. I don't think um, it's really necessary to color your little line in bold. Like I'm pretty happy if you just do like that. That's fine for me. All right, and just showing the, the direction of the electron flow and labeling if necessary. Okay, so we're just going to go through what they are. So this is the cell, the lamp or light, the switch. So that's open. And if you were to do a closed one, okay. Okay, some people color it. Um, happy with whatever. So here we're going to have a look at some of the symbols. All right. Um, sometimes we do them a bit differently. So this one's a cell, a battery. We've got a switch. A lamp um, we don't really use buzz as much um, an amp meter a voltmeter we don't really use mode as much and sometimes resistors are like little heartbeats all right and we don't really use this much in class so we use this one battery switch light resistor uh, voltmeter and amp meter so amp meter with an a voltmeter with a v and I'll go through them or hopefully you've seen um, the previous lesson before this and understand how to identify it. So there are two types of electrical circuits that we're going to go through today. It's series and parallel. So hopefully they look a bit different by looking at the picture. Series kind of look more of like a little square rectangle and this one looks like A rectangle with like an extension. Oops, I'm not sure why that um, seems to have done that. Um, like that. Okay. So in a series circuit, all right, I've only done a cell here. So we've got our lights here. You know, our electrons go this way. Okay, good practice. The components are connected to each other, all right? So it's a simple loop, all right? I'm not going to say it's circle because it's more like a rectangle flow. Now, if for some reason the circuit gets cut here or here, here or here, okay, it stops working completely. So in other words, series circuits, you want everything to be joined together um, for it all to be working. So one component, one area cut out, everything drops out. So in parallel circuits, so if you can draw this in your book, like I said, you can, you're more than welcome to um, pause it when you are ready. As you can see, the current splits up. Okay, so there's one that goes here, electrons go this way, and then electrons go this way. So we can see that there's a nice, when you draw your circuit, make sure they're nicely aligned. All right, we don't want it too messy, it'll be hard for you and your teacher. So the current has a choice. So like I said, electrons could be like, oh, I want to go down here. Or no, this ride is better. So if one bulb stops working, so let's say um, this one doesn't work, let's cross it out completely. Um, there is another circuit, so they can actually go, oh, well, this one isn't working, so we can just hop around and, you know, light this light up and hop around. And then they'll just repeat like that. Okay, so um, just a few things about this. So in a series circuit, okay, the light is shared. So for example, um, if this one was like, if we only had one light in this circuit, it'd be super bright, all right? When we add another one into the series, they share the brightness. So you might just want to write that down, that they share, they share the brightness together. You know, they're equal. Think of it like twins, like, oh, I can't write the S there. Um, so they're equal. Over here, it's they're just as bright, no matter which circuit they are. So this one here would have a dimmer light, as in both of them would be more dim. It be This circuit would have more dim lights if there were two compared to one. But here, they would be both just as bright and vibrant because they're not sharing the same wire that flows to their light. 
So electric current is measured in amps. So I'm sure you saw this before um, when I was doing the symbols. So an amp meter. Okay, so amp meter measures amps, which is the current. So in other words, we use this machine, this is an amp meter, okay, the A is denoted for amps, we use this machine to measure current and the unit is amps, just like how if I measured, um, I don't know, my exercise book, I would be using a 30 centimeter ruler, so centimeter is the unit of measurement I'm using to measure the length of my workbook, but for current, you're using amps or A. So you'd write your answer like 30A. Hope that sort of makes sense, that A is the unit of measurement we use for current. And see, this is the unit of measurement we use for centimetre. Okay. So, um, just to show you how amp meters work in series and parallel, so the line doesn't, the wire doesn't go through it, all right? You always have space for the, um, the components, all right? So same flow, like you can see here, okay? So it's negative to positive, all right? You might want to draw this in your book so you know, all right? Now, when you measure current in a series circuit, they're always the same. So we're still using, think of what we were talking about before, amp meter, all right? So I've just written two amps here, two amps here, two amps here. So it's saying that even if you put an amp meter here, here or here, it's exactly the same. So I know that this circuit here, that series, okay, has a current of two amps. So in a parallel circuit, they are shared. So as you can see, all right, even though the total current is uh, two amps, when it the electrons choose to split up, okay, that's when they have to divide, so you have to half whatever this is, or divide the total amps by how many? Like if I had another light here, hypothetically, and it was still two amps, it would be two divided by three for every single one of them amps, whatever that is on the um, calculator. So, um, I want you to copy the following circuit and fill in the missing amp meter readings. So, you can go back to the video and figure out in a series circuit, you probably should write that it's a series circuit. And this one's a parallel circuit. Okay, so... Is this the same? Yes, it is. All right. And is this one split? And how is it split? You just need to fill it out. And I'll go through the answers. And there you go. So in a series circuit, it's shared. I mean, sorry, it's the same. And in a parallel circuit, it's shared, as you can see below. So measuring voltage. So um, the electrical push or which the cell gives to the current is called the voltage. It is measured in volts. So this is the measurement we're using for voltage on a voltmeter. So just a quick recap. All right. So before, um, so just a quick recap before we said current, all right, we use amp meter. Okay, and the unit is A. Here we use voltage. We use a voltmeter. And we use V. Alright, and that's amps. And this is volts. Okay, so that's just a quick um, recap. So this is a, a voltmeter. And we just use the same kind of drawing as the amp meter, but instead of A, we put V. So how do we measure voltage? So different cells produce different voltages. The bigger the voltage supplied by the cell, the bigger the current. So unlike an amp meter, a voltmeter is connected across the components. 
so like light bulbs, resistors, okay, and scientists can use, usually use the term potential difference when they talk about voltage. So this is how you would draw a voltmeter in your circuit. So in a series circuit, all right, you'd put it around the components. Okay, so what you're measuring, so this is the, the lamp or the light. So this is how you could potentially put more, more voltmeters, okay? It depends what the question's asking. Sometimes they say, you know, where would you put your voltmeters and you can show them. So you, you wouldn't necessarily put a voltmeter just randomly here. This is perhaps where like an amp meter would sit. Okay. Amp meter, amp meter, amp meter. Right. Amp meter, amp meter, amp meter. Showing you where amp meters would sit. So voltage is shared between the components in a series circuit. So you actually need to wrap your head around when um, amps are shared and with what circuit and when um, volts are shared and with what circuit. So with voltage, okay, half of three is 1.5. So it's split. So this light here is 1.5 volts and this one here is 1.5 volts. In parallel, they're all the same. Okay, so before with amp meter with current, it was split, yeah, but in voltage they're the same. So, I'm going to show you a few examples of questions and I'd like you to do them in your book. I've got the answers um, in this video, but I'd like you to give this a shot. So, pause it and tell me what the voltage and the amp meter would be knowing that the cell's total voltage is 6 volts, okay, um, and that's the first one, that's the next one, so just pause it when um, you need to, and I'm about to show you the answers, okay, great, so that's all for today, um, thanks for watching, I'm going to upload another video um, that will help support understanding um, how electrons flow in parallel and series circuits. Um, yeah, so I uh, hope to see you in the next class soon.